Life on earth is a test whose results determine our fate in the afterlife. Every God-fearing Muslim believes and affirms to the fact that heaven or hell is a reward we get for a life spent on earth. Our world is fast progressing. Technological advancements and luxuries make man believe that if there is heaven, it is here and to be enjoyed on earth. The craze for a careless and carefree living has its hold on Muslims. Muslims and cash-strapped Muslim nations give importance to an opulent lifestyle reeking of pride and grandeur. The monuments they erect, the lives they live, are all testament to the pride and might of Muslims. In such an age where luxury has become a necessity, there are people who covet worldly comforts as if their very life depended on it. But on the other hand, exist people who struggle without the bare minimum necessities. This is the same story with coastal Muslims. One part has happiness spilling out, while the other has sorrow and strife written all over it. Muslims in towns are known for their forwardness in terms of economy, education and social life. Health, education and standard facilities make life colorful for many town-dwelling Muslims. The color fades as we move out of the town. Muslims living in villages lead a hellish existence as opposed to their wealthy counterparts. Their tears are in stark contrast to the outward show of gaiety, an insult to the world of wealthy Muslims. Twenty-five percent of Muslims dwelling in the city get seventy-five percent of basic facilities and infrastructure known to man. In contrast, the remaining 75% of poor Muslims living in the villages get hardly 10% of even the basic amenities and infrastructure required for a decent living. The contrast is appalling. Muslims living in villages eke out a living rolling beadies and doing strenuous manual labor their lives are a series of ups and downs, never assured of a stable tomorrow. This house is a symbol of pain. Here children and women suffer silently with no hopes for the future.
लड़की को आठवीं क्लास वो भी हिंदी ये स्कूल इधर पढ़ती है बीड़ी बनती है इधर उधर देखता नहीं आता ना आदमी इसके लिए इधर आई इधर अभी कैसे चल रहा है रोजी रोटी आपका बीड़ी बन के कैसे भी निकालती है दिन महीने में एक बार आया अभी अभी गए महीने में आए थे ये महीने में आए अभी बोलते कल जाएगा मैं बोली थोड़ा कड़छा पानी दो बोलते छुपछाप रहने का हम लोग को देखता नहीं वो लोग का हम लोग ही देखते लड़का कुछ कमा के देता है नहीं, नहीं अभी गया ना अभी हाँ। कितना आठ दिन हो गया हाँ। कहाँ पर काम कर रहा है पोरबंदर में गुजरात गुजरात उधर गया है This is a story of a Muslim family living in miserable conditions. A family of six children, of which three girls have passed the marriageable age, forced to fend for themselves within the confines of a run-down house. Everything from changing clothes to cooking and sleeping is done in the corner of this dingy-looking tent. <laughs> Here, many lives have shattered. Many foundations have shaken. Their only hope for security lies in God, their only salvation. The shadows across the thinly stretched cloth speak of a woman's life of inward turmoil, seeking solace in the cool running water. Children here desire an education that will take care of their future, but they lack the facilities to make them realize their dream. Help is forthcoming, but not evenly distributed. The flame burns bright, but there is no guarantee that it will last. They hold on to this hope that the flame will never die, as will their dreams and hopes for a better future. नानो भी उसी काम आते लोग जान चले हम नाले पड़ी कौन रहा है सेंडो आई नाले उसको लो चोर आई नहीं तो ना चिमनी बच्ची तो उधरे आई ना डेला उन डांगों पर चोर चला रहा है ना जो मां बाप का ऐसा है These children are the hope for a better future, and their mothers realize their dreams could be dashed, 
So they slog day and night with the aim of securing their children's future. Nangale kas nangale makkal jo mantri kitto thi raaka nanga banne kastam banna varate kastam banna adukku nalla padi padon undu rasanna illa illa puri ga sara nanga poi idu mayavu nan dekki thode kadathilla padi padu kashtam nai chitta ayam padi padrathu 